So the NIH Marfan trial is going to be the biggest trial for Marfan syndrome ever done. It's a trial that's sponsored by the NIH, so it's funded by the federal government, and it's being run by the Pediatric Heart Network, which is a research network that was started in 2001 to try to do research on kids with heart disease with a long-term goal of improving outcome. The Marfan trial was started in 2007. Um, and in the course of the trial, we've recruited 608 young children and young adults. Um, half, of the, half of the subjects are getting atenolol, and the other half are getting Lazartan. We do know that children and young adults with Marfan syndrome are tolerating both of these medicines very well. In addition to trying to figure out which medicine is better at slowing your aortic enlargement, we're going to learn a lot about side effects of the medicines. We're going to learn uh, whether these medicines are uh, helping other parts of your heart, your mitral valve, your left ventricle. Um, we're looking at the effect of these medications on growth, on, on your skeleton, whether these medicines affect your pectus or your scoliosis. So we're going to learn a, a great deal not only about the effect of atenolol and lozartan on your heart, but also on the rest of your body. We've all invested a lot of time, money, and talent trying to get this trial done. And sometimes I'm afraid that we may end up at the end of the trial with results that we didn't expect or results um, that don't move the field. But because we're looking at a lot of different things, I think that we're going to learn a lot, even if the study shows uh, no difference between Lozartan and Atenolol. So that keeps me going.